And look at the face behind it. Sometimes it gets too loud to concentrate on what's happening. So if it gets too loud, you kind of go quiet and down there or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Donnie, you played the bones, yeah? Major S bones. Don't give me a blast. Yeah. And the bones, Danny, now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's the super and half today. <laughs> well, out your best pair of bones now. <laughs> your best set of bones. That's this now, the next edition. You need the trousers on you now. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> you are joking. Yeah, yeah. You are absolutely joking. You'll go up there later. That's a woman's back That's right, yeah, it's right. And you're going to play that? Oh, my gosh, you can't be a good one for playing. <laughs> Paul, did you hear that? Huh? Do you know the bones he has? What, yeah. One of them is a woman's back spine. <laughs> Spatters, is that him? <laughs> then possibly one of the one of the major rats or whatever. The name is going to quickly say, then I'm just going to quickly finish with the bone guys. He's trying to combine condense. So that had to still put into 15 minutes. It is, and I haven't even mentioned the flow. It's like, I mean, I'll mention them at the end, I'll say. And we're missing out. I haven't even time to tell you about the girl, the last girl. You know, but we get together. Well, 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 I'd like to welcome Brenda and Paul here at the Castle Forum today. Uh, before we start, I'd like to make a small presentation of from Crashwood to Paul Domain at Black Paul. Oh, you. thank you very much. Yeah. That's lovely. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's fantastic. And we'll give Paul the video of the 1988 race. Oh, thank you very much. That's right. fantastic. I don't have to give you a kiss for anything. Go on. <laughs> Guys, I really don't know what to say. It's just it's just It's just a little bit bigger than the other. Let's do this. <laughs> I have to say now, travelling around all the time, you very rarely kind of come across somewhere that you can sit back and so really enjoy people. people in the oh, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's fantastic. If the gat dogs were like this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't walk too close to the blue one. Oh, did on the left one. Oh, 
talk to Jerry. Yahoo. Big Yahoo. I'll start talking to Jerry for a little bit, explaining where I am and what I'm doing and that kind of thing. Then the first person I'm going to talk to, and we're going to try and get to as many as possible. The way there's so much information and fun here, it's very hard to get it all in, right? So the first person I'm going to talk to is Jerry, right? And just about why the race started and what it's all about, right? The second person I'm going to talk to is Maka, right? And he's going to talk about goose grease and uh, introduce me as an honorary member or whatever. Um, and the thing is, uh, the next person I'm going to hope to sing rubber is Wiley. But at the same time, if, something, if somebody says something really funny or puts a slap as well. So if um, the people who I said are talking to, if you come up here and I just set you up or show you where you'll be standing or whatever. All right. <laughs> so I say good morning, Jerry. Can I get a big yo? Good morning, Jerry. <laughs> That's not a yo. That's a good one. Are we live? No. Yahoo, actually, rather than yeah. yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> Beautiful darling, how are you? Sign up the woman. Each, right? When you're finished talking, or if you're doing well, actually, no, you keep on, right? And do right? Okay? And then I'll go over here to you. Alright? I think this is that. I was watching your hands, your famous hands. <laughs> <laughs> but just put your hands over your ears like that, to, to you know, so you can hear clearer. Yeah, and I'm very excited because this morning I am going to bring you an exclusive. Because something that has never been on RTE or anywhere else in the world on either television or radio. Because I'm in Castlecomer in County Kilkenny with some very strange people all preparing. For you. <laughs> now, New Year's Day, as you know yourself, is a very special day for everybody. The Australians celebrated with a barbecue on the beach. The Canadians are up to their eyes in snow. But in Castlecomer, they put on their wellies. Young and old, Jerry, knobbly kneed and bald headed, they all turn out in their hundreds for the event of the year, which is the Welly Race. The Welly Race. Well, what I'm talking about is months beforehand. The people of Castlecomer and the surrounding areas are puffing and panting up and down the streets with wellies on to get... Yeah. I believe that Jonathan does enter the way they put wellies on his feet as well. Now, the race takes place just outside the town. It's two miles uphill, two miles downhill, hill, and it's on mucky by road. And everybody has to wear wellies. And over 600 people raise money and it goes back into some local charities in the town, right? The tradition called Powley Vale, which is outside Castle Comer. Are you following me so far? It's felt the, I suppose, virgin members of the Welly Race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's one statistic of this town before I put you on to a man called Jerry Dunn. Right? There's one statistic. The town has how many people? 1,400 people? Yes. Living in it. And on the main street, Kilkenny Street, we have 48 bachelors. <laughs> yeah, I know that's but Jerry Dunn. These are the virgins in the wellies. <laughs> Jerry Dunn, you were one of the initial virgins, as I said. <laughs> Can you say hello to Jerry and tell him how the whole tradition started? Hello, Jerry. Hi, 
Nineteen seventy eight. I'll take you right back to that here. Um, very quiet country house, uh, sixpence, playing cards, drinking some local brew. And uh, uh, local brew, yes. I'm uh, called DPB in my business. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, we all gathered the next day. Um, I think you actually know where you went, uh, in anticipation of what's going to come up. Um, that day. And uh, this happened again in 1979. And I just thought of it on the spot, I hadn't even written down. I'm in a very colourful pub. It's called Bollards, right? And everybody. I'm a ball of quads. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody in the pub is wearing twine around their neck instead of a tie. I don't know why, including me. Um, we have a group of male majorettes, which are called major regrets, who participate in the welly race as well. And they use a yardstick as a baton. And their nipples are so big that they need an EEC levy on them. <laughs> Their nipples are so big, they need an EEC le levy on them. We have a welly repair, man. And we have... <laughs> what? We have... Well, they are male majorettes, so they've had to um, do a Dolly Parton job on themselves, I think is the easiest thing to say. Actually, I have one of them here beside me. I'll go to him quickly first. Tommy, you're a majorette. Um, can you just describe to Jerry how you're dressed for me? Um, what I'm looking at exactly, because it's a bit shocking from my point of view. But Jerry, maybe you get a graph from it from there. Well, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Oh, sorry. Right. 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 Yeah. Someone told me your tights were 12 years old, Tommy. Uh, they're 40 anyway. <laughs> 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 and I have him beside me. His name is Maka Brennan. Now, Maka, can you hear Jerry there? Are you all wired up? What exactly is a welly fitter? He's an expert. He's <laughs> 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 words, yes. Um, Say hello to Jerry first. Hello, time. Jerry. How's you going? <laughs> <laughs> Not too bad at all. Uh, my, I, I have a very hard job, like. Uh, you get all sorts of feet, like legs and everything like that. You know, and uh, you, you see in the sun newspapers there, they're all, they're all focusing in on the legs, you know. But down here in the poly, we look at a woman's foot. <laughs> the foot. But you judge her from there. Uh, now you have it, you're, you're, you're in that, the act now, but uh, to fit a welly, now you want to, you know, remove whatever she had on her, like, from, from the knee down, right, uh, corners might want to repair, Carlos and Co is another old uh, thing we had to look out for, yeah, you had to pair them, but uh, the thing about it is you pair them before you put on the welly anyway, exactly, exactly. Oh, I wouldn't need, yeah, sure, I'm an expert on telling you. <laughs> uh, I use a good old, uh, I will, uh, the, the Hamburg ring, shave a knife. <laughs> I got it from a man up the hill there, he used to be putting cat away, but no <laughs> devil. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did, I did, I did, I did. Come here, how do you fit a welly, Mark? I think this is hilarious. I mean, very interesting. <laughs> well, it's not hilarious, it's a serious subject, no, if you want to get into it. <laughs> yeah, but, um, First of all, you judge the foot. See how the big toe is laying in a row. <laughs> As we say down around here, so if it's on the cone side, you'll have to put a bit of weight on it, right? <laughs> that. But uh, what we use is the small little bit of lubricant, Jerry. Uh, can the breeze. Now, uh, some people like use ghost breeze, but it's not the same at all. A can the breeze we use. And and if we could we we could get an umbilical gander like like, like a kind of a gander. The one, gander one, one year was yeah. Eamon Brennan. Now Eamon, you're an expatriate welly person. Oh, I, I, I'm 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 one of the the uh, expat welly boys that come home for family, second and third generation at this stage. Now back to a home village every year for crack and gallery and enjoyment and reminiscing and sing song of the whole shebang. Hundreds of it. In our book of it. Last year the Kearney Brennan and young Merlin brought down a whole double decker bus load from Dublin. Open the wasn't an open double decker bus? <laughs> Would you believe that? Would you believe all the way down to the mm. welly race. That's oh, true. Unbelievable. Well, oh, I'm not too far away. I'm one of the lucky ones now. I drifted back near enough to Kilkenny. So I'm very fortunate. I can spend days. Oh no, the, but see, I look after the rest of the boys come because I'm I'm here on the spot and can make all the arrangements for them. Fit the wellies, help them all, give them all, all the sizes for the wellies, so it's all ready for them when they come. Toe he's measurements the, and he's foot the head of the expatriates. 
No, but he looks after all the expatriates that come home. Oh, which you might as well be, you know. So, like, yes, you haven't seen the row between Kilkenny and Cloverley. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, Eamon, you have a song you wrote yourself about the welly. I am talking about had a great song. Eddie Kenny had a great song last year and won it, but for technological reasons here, we know we're in a queer old spot here in Holland, the Poli. And you Rook can't get it through. But so, we'll, uh, here's one we sang a few years ago on one of them. You may talk about the derby, you're racing at Brands Hat. Climbing on the Matterhorn or the greatest football map. But nowhere in this wide world can anything replace the fun cracker excitement of Cork's Welly Race. Oh, the burning of the rubber as you come around the bow. Barbicadams melting, their skin marks on the road. The cows are in a frenzy, their sheep all over the place. As we all head back to Comer for the New Year Welly Race. Oh, well done, Eamon. Thank you very much, Jerry. Thank you kindly, sir. <laughs> Jerry, I'm really upset because I have to go in competition. They have a Yahoo competition. There's a coronation bush that's something like a karaoke bush you go behind. They have a big float parade every year, and it's always something different in the parade. There's great secrecy and pride over the floats, and there's spying and everything going on in the community. And I'm going to leave you with something special. I mean, it is more. It's an added touch to the exclusive. Let me go over closer to this. I am going to bring you the world's only... <laughs> Sorry, I'm going to bring you the world. A sow, a cow, and a grandmother. <laughs> <laughs> and he's accompanied on the accordion by Roe Brennan. There's a lot of Brennans here. So good luck from Castle Comer here uh, at the preparations for the Welly Race happening on New Year's Day. Goodbye, Jerry, and take it away, Gonny. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, I don't need them. Make sure you're ready for me to tell you again. <laughs> Started the project, set up their own management team. And this year they picked to, to produce t shirts oh, yeah. and sell the t shirts and see how they get on So, just to give you an idea what they're at, they let them present you with a t shirt piece. Oh, Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank you. Thanks a million. And well done. I hope it goes well for you. And you made these? Lovely. How many of you are involved? Excellent. It's only seven. 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 Seven.